Hey folks, how's it going? I feel compelled to make an actual YouTube video now. It won't be too long. I want to talk about some of these, a uh, whole bunch of subjects. First of all, the despicable freaking movie that they're coming out with called uh, The Hunt. We've already seen that before. I said that in another video. With uh, It was called Surviving the Game, starring Ice-T and now the late... Uh, great actor Rudger Har who just passed away recently. It was an awesome movie. Well, we already seen the plot. We already know what it's about. We don't need to see it again. They keep making these messed up freaking movies full of horrible violence, graphic horrible violence. And then when some unhinged lunatic <laughs> teases the shit and he gets that in his mind, he goes and he, he acts out. And then the same people that make the shit and produce it, they get up and protest their own violence. Think of that. The, the whole Saw series, for example. There's a, there's a good example right there. I saw the first one with Danny Glover years back. I watched it, maybe 25% of it, and I was like, this is just trash. This is just, turn that shit off. Because you're just torturing innocent people just for the sake of torturing innocent people. And that's supposed to be entertainment. That's not entertainment, man. That's... That's fucked up. All right. I said I was gonna work on my profanity. Well, fuck all that. I'm sick of that. You, you all got virgin ears. When I get aggravated, I swear and I curse, okay? If you don't like it, then don't watch my videos. That's all I can tell you. What else I got? Uh, these left-wing politicians have... Never mind they've lost their minds. They've gone even beyond that. They all need to be captured, rounded up by a big white truck where those guys come up with the white suits, put a straitjacket on them, and take them to an insane asylum. <laughs> like they did back in the 30s and 40s. For their own good and their own safety. They've all lost their minds. I've never seen no political party, whether it's Republicans, Independents, Libertarians, or so on and so forth, ever go this crazy over a, a president. Now they're going to Mitch McConnell's house and, and threatening to stab the guy in the heart and, and kill the guy and, and want him dead? Are you kidding me? Uh, this shit needs to all be turned down and toned down and turn the temperature down and calm the fuck down. This is crazy. There's no need for this. I don't remember one time ever a bunch of conservatives, or Trump supporters for that matter, ever went to any... Show me all the videos. If somebody has a treasure trove of videos of a bunch of white guys with red mega hats on in front of Maxine Waters' house threatening her life, or Sheila Jackson Lee, or so on and so forth, Nancy Pelosi, or Chuck Schumer, that rat bum communist piece of shit. Please show me the videos. I'll, I'll put them on my own YouTube channel. But it's never happened because we're not as insane as the left. They have lost their minds to a dangerous level. And we all, uh, all need to be aware of that and recognize that. What else do I got going on? I still haven't started my foundry project. Because it rains every freaking day here in southwestern Louisiana. I was going to do it today, but it, it had a tremendous thunderstorm, and then it got too humid because all that moisture just makes it humid. I walked outside. I was sweating and profusely in like five seconds. I was like, oh, well. I threw that in the freaking out the window. But when I start my foundry project and melting all my metals and stuff, it's going to be badass videos. Now, I'm getting sick of just posting all the time about politics. I want to start doing videos about constructive stuff. In fact, here's my little... That's my foundry right there. I cased it, encased it with all that. They sent you this bag of powder. It looks like a bag of heroin, actually. You mix it with water, and then you, you coat the inside of that. It's all uh, ceramic, ceramic lined. Almost looks like ceramic, like cotton, but but the thing's gonna be about 2,000 degrees. I'll be melting all kinds of stuff and it'll be some good stuff. What else do I have? The whole red flag thing. 
That's another thing about gun control. Because these, these sick, evil, demented, horrible-ass motherfuckers. That are, they're hurting innocent and killing innocent people. Just because they're whatever. I don't even want to begin to start on why they did what they did. Sick, evil fucks is what they are. And the one in El Paso, because he did that in Texas, you mark my words, he gonna get the death penalty for that. Texas has no problem. In the fact, they execute more inmates than I think any state in the country, for that matter. Yeah, so, he's gonna be gone. They should waive all appeals and you should be executed immediately. So, he's done. Finished. Toast. In fact, these, why are we spending $500 million on, well, it's not probably not that much, but all these expensive chemicals to do a, a lethal injection? Just have a firing squad for the guy. That's uh, the old West when they just hung him in a hangman's freaking, when they did that to criminals. Why are we spending tax dollars so he gets a nice, clean, painless death? Put a friggin' giant one-gallon Ziploc bag over his head, for Christ's sake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because, I'm, because of my smoking, I get these frogs in my throat sometimes. I'm not ready to quit smoking yet, so shut your mouth. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, what else do I got? What else has been pissing me off, bothering me, something I want to talk about? I guess that's about it. Oh, there was one other thing, but damn it, I should have wrote my bullet points down on a piece of paper like I normally do. There's stuff I want to talk about, and I just glance at it, and then, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I didn't do that. This is like a spontaneous video. Oh, I was talking about the red flag laws. That's right. The, 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 I, the only problem I got with that, some of it Kind of makes a little sense. But on the other hand, how is that... How would it not be abused? And who's going to be in charge of these red flag laws? Would that include all conservatives? I mean, you make some smart-ass off-the-mouth comment. Like, oh, the hell with Cory Booker. Oh, red flagged. Oh, Chuck Schumer can kiss my ass. Oh, red flagged. You know... You see where this can go? And that's why I got a problem with it, and I don't trust it. I think it's a setup. And that's why I got an issue with it bad. Uh, why don't you bring back, like I said in a previous video, insane asylums? I've said that in a previous one. Where you had, you know, where if they even suspected you of being a dangerous, mentally ill person, like I said a couple of minutes ago, you know, a big white truck, they had the old Warner Brother cartoons. Big white truck shows up, two big guys with white coats and suits get out, and they put the straight jacket on you and took you to an insane asylum and put you in a padded cell so you couldn't hurt yourself or anybody else. And they forced you to get mental illness treatment. And if you were, like, untreatable, and you just had a horribly dangerous mentality. They fried your ass with electric shock treatment. Like the one flew over the cuckoos and that's with Jack Nicholson. I said that before too in another video. I'll say it again. Excellent movie, by the way. And they, they turned you from a violent, horrible maniac into just someone that was just a vegetable that sit on a bed and you just exist. Harmless as just a lamb, a newborn lamb. But the left themselves are the ones that created this because they were the ones that said, we can't stigmatize mental illness. We, we have to stop it. It's not politically correct. It's not nice. It's, it's mean to lock them up like criminals and all that other stuff. That's exactly why they're walking the streets doing what they're doing. All right. I'm going on 10 minutes now. I got my 10 minute rule. I'm going to adhere to that. Nobody likes to watch it. 25-minute video, and I've said all my rants. The left has gone completely crazy, and they're fermenting a lot of violence, especially with that stupid, disgusting movie 
And every, by the way, that go back to that movie, The Hunt. Well, every scumbag piece of shit involved with that needs to be boycotted forever. Hillary Skink. And I don't remember anybody else that's involved with it. You all should be ashamed of yourselves for even taking part in that kind of project. Blah. Excuse me. Ugh. Excuse me again. Actually, I'm not, ex no, no excuse at all. I'm a noxious freaking slob, and that's how I'm going to stay. All right? You don't like it? All right, I guess that's about it. I'm not going to overreact about that movie anymore. Don't buy it. It should be boycotted immediately, and... No. That's about it. I'm done ranting. We know the left is just completely nuts. And President Trump and his presidency has driven the left completely fucking insane. <laughs> to the point where I'm actually laughing at him. Look at Jerry Nadler. <laughs> it looks like a freaking penguin from Batman, for Christ's sake. <laughs> uh, and they want to talk about impeachment. It's one more, more last quick little thing I'm going to get on. They want to talk about impeachment. Jerry Nadler was a tough guy. He was like a, a football with toothpicks for legs. If you, you want to politically destroy yourselves and your party for the next seven to ten years, go right ahead. That's what's going to happen. Go ahead and destroy yourselves with impeachment. You guarantee that Trump walks right back into the freaking White House. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm going on too long here now. So everybody, have a great night, and be safe, and watch your backs, and God bless you all, and I love you all. Bye.